Hi, I'm Ross Callaghan. Over the last few years I've been making model ships um, as a legacy for my grandchildren. This one here is the Santa Maria and that's the ship that Christopher Columbus sailed in 1492 when he went off to discover the Americas and that's grandchild number five. Now uh, Columbus had three ships in his fleet when he went off to discover the Americas and the second one was this one, La Pinta or the painting. And um, so I've uh, just finished this as number six. The uh, third one, which will be for grandchild number seven, is called La Nina or the girl. So I'm looking forward to making that very much. When I made the Santa Maria I used a kit set. But when I came to uh, making this one, the Pinta, I didn't have a, pit, a, a kit set at all, so I had to do the whole thing from scratch. Really, all I had was this photograph, which I found on the internet. This is of a uh, replica of the Pinta, uh, which has uh, long since um, sunk. And so the whole of, of this model has been made just by trial and error, by trying to, uh, to, to use common sense and uh, the skills that I've learned over the years in building model ships. So I'll take you through the processes that I, that I went through to build this ship and uh, with, through a series of photographs. Using the photo, I made some cardboard cutouts to try and get the scale of the model and then built a, a deck and keel and then worked out the, uh, the stern fittings. Getting the scale of it all was, was tricky but um, it, it all seemed to work out once I had established the correct size, especially in relation to the Santa Maria. Then it was a case of, of, of attaching um, bulkheads onto the, the keel and then I started to put a, I put a deck on, an uh, upper deck at the back there, and then the sides on. All of this is using plywood for the frames and base wood. Then it was on to planking the sides. I uh, used base wood again, cut it into strips, and um, put the planking right from front to back and back to front and uh, fitted everything in. Once that was all complete, I uh, used a filler to go over the thing and make everything nice and smooth. Made all the different little fittings that would go onto the deck, um, trying to get a kind of scale, and um, then started putting all the decorations onto the side. Very pleased at the back how it all turned out. Looks rather smart with La Pinta sign there and uh, kept it in a similar style to the Santa Maria. Finally all of the hull was finished and um, I'd already worked out where the different masts were to go and uh, made holes appropriate so that they could go in easily. Attached those masts and then started the rigging. First of all was the fixed rigging Again, with uh, nothing much to help, it was um, try it, see what happens, and um, trying to work out where everything should go. Gradually, the, the fixed or standing rigging uh, came into place. I had to do um, all the nice little rat lines there so the, the sailors could climb up and service the sails, and the various fitments that would um, hold the masts in place. At this stage I created um, outlines of the sails and my wife um, sewed up the sails till they were ready to go onto the spars and then one by one attached the sails to the masts with the uh, running rigging. La Pinta was a caravel of about 15 metres and she was set up with um, two square rigged four sails, a foresail and a mainsail, then a latin sail down at the back. 
and so I had to uh, put those on and all of the associated rigging to control the sails. Quite interesting and e relatively easy to do, uh, especially as I'd done it before in a similar way on, on the Santa Maria. I did it so that uh, each of the sails could at any time actually work as they were designed to work so the model is fully functional. The final step in the uh, making of the model was to put on all the little bits and pieces at the end, the, the flags, the little cannons, put on the anchors and then finally put all the fittings in there on the deck so that everything looks nice. The end result is a, a, a pretty impressive model I reckon that um, is very similar to the Santa Maria relatively to scale and um, which shows the kind of ships that um, Columbus would have used as he uh, headed off in search of the riches of the East. So there you are, that's what was involved in um, building this lovely model of the Pinta. I'm very proud of, of, of the model, it's come out really really well and especially because I had no guidance at all really in, um, in what to do in making it. Um, I'm now looking forward to making the, the Nina and that will make a lovely little um, set of three. So these were the ships that, um, that Columbus sailed in and he, apparently he really liked this particular one, the Pinta. It was his favourite, it was the fastest of the three um, and as um, soon as he discovered the Americas the crew rebelled and took off in search of gold that stage, uh, the main boat, the Santa Maria, uh, it, um, it sunk on, on Christmas night in 1492 and the Pinta came back and together the Nina and the Pinta took the crew back to Spain where, where Columbus was received with great, um, great accord because he had discovered this new country or this new continent really. So uh, there you are. The uh, La Pinta, the second of Columbus's ships in which he sailed on his um, incredible expedition in 1492.